MJF can't be trusted. Mm. And everyone in that locker room right now is smiling and agreeing with every single thing that I'm saying. Now, the entire world. correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Didn't Adam Cole turn we on MJF know. and break his heart? How is he the good guy week now? After week. I don't know. Be the guys that carry I don't know. The, the best pro wrestling company in the world. Imagine these young talent looking at MJF and thinking that is the path to success. When the path that MJF is on is nothing but failure and loneliness. Damn. But you contributed to that, bro. How are you the good guy? <laughs> what? MJF thinks he's the best there's ever been in AEW. Everybody hates you. Wow. I hate you, Max. We know that. I hate everything that you are and everything that you stand for. I hate the way that your voice sounds. I hate the way that your face looks. I hate, I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the fact that I have to share a building with you. So, Max, I got an idea. Let's not waste any more time. You know we're going to fight, Max. So how about right here, right now in San Jose? Hmm. And I whoop that ass. What do you say, bro, Chacho? Bro, how is he the good guy? I don't understand this. Oh, yes. Hey, bro, Jacko. Been at this since I was a teenager. A full decade later, I can say I've learned a lot. Through immaturity, through loss, through gain. Learning how to trust others. And mm. then later learning the hard way. There's no such thing as trust. Yes. Exactly. Like jackals in professional wrestling, especially when you reach a top level at a young age. And after years of letting people in and paying the consequences, I told myself I'd never let it happen again. Until you came. Then you came in. Yep. Life, yep, exactly. You tricked me into letting my guard down, and you made me pay for that, didn't you? Because of you, I can never trust, and I will never, ever, ever trust again. Mm. The despicable actions and mayhem I create isn't my fault, Adam. It's yours. Mm. And yet these unwashed heathens cheer you. Exactly. I agree. You no, know you want nothing more than to beat me within an inch of my life. Mm. And for my amusement, I will keep dangling the carrot of sweet revenge right in front of your sunken little face. You will die with a void of unfulfilled vengeance. And for that empty, cold, sad, lonely little life, you can thank me later. Mm. Why is he the villain in this situation? I don't understand it, y'all. I know you better than anybody. And you know I mean this when I say it. You can run, but you can't hide. I get my hands on you. I will give you the ass beating of a lifetime and make you wish that we never met. What is the point of this story, bro? I don't understand. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Who's the good guy here? Who's the bad guy here?